Charles Taylor here. Welcome back uh, to my series, Reading Time with Taylor. Uh, tonight we are going to tackle the, again, the Pokemon Deluxe Handbook. And tonight we are going to be tackling the section of Pokemon that begin with the letter G. Now I will let you know ahead of time that I went ahead and scoured how many Pokemon there are. And there's going to be a lot. So um, if I were you, I'd get comfortable, uh, get in your comfy pajamas stuffed animal to cuddle with, uh, gra um, grab a snack, grab a, a cup of milk, or whatever you drink. But anyway, uh, let's get started. Gabite, the cave Pokemon. While digging to expand its nest, Gabite sometimes finds sparkly gems that become part of its hoard. Gallade, the Blade Poke Pokemon. A master of the blade, Gallade battles using the sword-like appendages that extend from its elbows. Check out Mega Gallade. Excuse me. Excuse me. Can you lay somewhere else, please? I'm in the middle of recording. Galvantula, the yellow spider Pokemon. Galvantula's web crackles with electricity, which shocks anything that blunders into them. It can also spin an electric barrier in battle. Yeah, I can see that happening. Garboder, the trash heap Pokemon. Garboder wraps its long left arm around an opponent to bring it within range of its poisonous breath. It creates new kinds of poison by eating garbage. Yep. Garchomp, the moth Pokemon. Garchomp can fly faster than the speed of sound when it assumes a seam streamlined position for flight and looks like a fighter jet. Oh, Garchomp is the evolved form of Goodbye. Check out Mega Garchomp. Pretty scary. Gardevoir, the Embrace Pokemon. Fiercely protective of its trainer, Gardevoir can see into the future to detect a threat to that trainer. It responds by unleashing the full strength of its psychic powers. Maybe instead of the Embrace Pokemon, it should be called the, uh, the Loyal Pokemon. Anyway, Ghastly, the Gas Pokemon. Gasly's body is made of gas clouds that can be disrupted by strong winds. Groups of them sometimes huddle close to a house for protection. Gastrodon, the sea slug Pokemon. East Sea. It's said that Gastrodon were once covered by protective shells, but over the ages, those shells have vanished. When threatened, they release purple fluid to cover their escape. Gastrodon West Sea, the sea slug Pokemon. Gastrodon lives in shallow waters. It can grow back any body part that is ripped off. Genesec, the Paleozic Pokemon. Try to say that. It is a mythical Pokemon. The powerful cannon on Genesec's back is the result of Team Plasma's meddling. This mythical Pokemon is 300 million years old. Gengar, the shadow Pokemon. If your shadow suddenly runs away, it might be a Gengar stalking you through the darkness. That's scary. Check out Mega Gengar. Uh, that's nightmare fuel if I've ever seen it. Geodude, the rock Pokemon. As a Geodude grows older, its rough edges are smoothed away. When it sleeps, it digs into the ground where it resembles a rock. Gibble, the land shark Pokemon. Gibble dig holes in the walls of warm caves to make their nests. Don't get too close or they might pounce. Gigalith, the compressed Pokemon, an evolved form of Bulldor. After Gigalith soaks up the sun's rays, it uses its energy core to pr process that energy into a weapon. A blast of its compressed energy can destroy a mountain. Holy cow. 
Girafferig, the long neck Pokemon. The brain that controls Girafferig's secondary head is too small to think and just reacts to its surroundings. It tends to attack anyone who approaches from behind. Useful tool, if I say so myself. Giratina, the renegade Pokemon, origin form, is a legendary. As punishment, the legendary Pokemon Giratina was banished to another dimension where everything is distorted and reversed. Here is Giratina's other form, the altered form. That's pretty creepy. Glaceon, the fresh snow Pokemon, and an evolved form of Eevee. The icy Glaceon has amazing control over its body temperature. It can freeze its own fur, then fire the frozen hairs like needles at an opponent. To get Glaceon, you have to evolve an Eevee around an icy rock. Glalie, the face Pokemon. Glalie's rocky body is surrounded by a sturdy shell of ice, which it creates by freezing water vapor in the air around it. It can also create amazing ice sculptures with this power. Dang, and here's Mega Glalie. Glammeow, the caddy Pokemon. When it's feeling happy and friendly, Glammeow purrs wing winningly and performs a lovely dance with its spiraling tail. When it's in a bad mood, however, the claws come out. Oh dear. Gligar, the fly scorpion Pokemon. Gliding silently through the air, Gligar can strike from above to grab onto an opponent's face with all four of its claws. The barb on its tail is poisonous. Gliscor, the fang scorpion Pokemon, and the evolved form of Gligar. Gliscor hangs upside down from trees, watching its chance to attack. At the right moment, it silently swoops with its long tail, ready to seize its opponent. Gloom, the weed Pokemon. Gloom don't always smell terrible. When it feels safe and relaxed, its aroma fades. However, its nectar usually carries an awful stench. Go-Go, the mount Pokemon. The perceptive Pokemon can read its rider's feelings by paying attention to the grip on its horns. Go-Go also use their horns in battle for leadership. Golbat, the bat Pokemon. With its four sharp fangs, Golbat feeds on living beings. Darkness gives it an advantage in battle and it prefers to attack on pitch black nights. Scary. Goldeen, the goldfish Pokemon. Goldeen's long, elegant fins were gracefully in the water. It's hard to keep this lovely Pokemon in an aquarium because its horn can break through thick glass. Dang. Golduck, the duck Pokemon. The webbing on its legs made Golduck an excellent swimmer. Even when facing strong currents and towering waves, it could cut through the water to rescue shipwreck victims. Dang, Golduck. Golem, the Megaton Pokemon. People who live in the mountainside sometimes dig grooves to keep Golem from rolling right into their houses. Smart. Golet, the, the Automaton Pokemon. Sculpted from clay and animated by a mysterious internal energy, Golet are the product of ancient science. Golurk, the Automaton Pokemon, and the evolved form of Golet. The seal on Golurk's chest keeps its energy contained and stops it going wild. Long ago, these Pokemon were created as protectors. Gudra, the dragon Pokemon. Excuse me, I'm trying to read. Let's try that again. Gudra, the dragon Pokemon. The affectionate Gudra just loves to give its trainer a big hug. Unfortunately, its hugs leave the recipient covered in goo. Oh, Gudra. Gumi, the soft tissue Pokemon. The slippery membrane that covers Gumi's body deflects the fists and feet of any attackers. To keep itself from drying out, it stays away from the sun. Gorobus, the South Sea Pokemon, and an evolved form of Clampearl. 
Worm is a tougher than it looks. Its long, slender body is built to withstand the crushing pressure at the bottom of the ocean. Regular attacks just won't do much. Gothita, the fixation Pokemon. Gothita's wide eyes are always fixed on something. It seems when they stare like that, they're seeing what others cannot. Oh dear. Gotharita, the manipulate Pokemon, and the evolved form of Gothita. Gotharita draw their power from the starlight. On starry nights, they can make stones float and control people's movements with their enhanced psychic power. Gothitelle, the astral body Pokemon, and the evolved form of Gotharita. Gothitelle observes the stars to predict the future. It sometimes distorts the air around itself to reveal faraway constellations. That's impressive. Orgeist, the pumpkin Pokemon. During the new moon, the eerie song of the Gorgeist echoes through town, bringing woe to anyone who hears it. Uh oh, that's not good. Granville, the fairy Pokemon. The weight of its huge fangs and Gramble's lower jaw throw the Pokemon off balance, so it has to walk with its head tilted back. It generally doesn't bite unless startled. Hmm. Graveler, the rock Pokemon, and the evolved form of Geodude. Graveler loves to eat rocks, and moss-covered rocks are a favorite snack. Ew. It will munch its way up the side of a mountain if it's hungry. Dang, Graveler. Greninja, the ninja Pokemon. Greninja can compress water into sharp edge throwing stars. With the grace of a ninja, it slips in and out of sight to attack from the shadows. That's actually a Pokedex entry in the anime when Ash's Frogadier finally evolves into Greninja. Anyway, Grimer, the sludge Pokemon. Because its body is like sludge, Grimer can squeeze itself into small openings like sewer pipes. The fluid it gives off is full of germs. Ugh. Grottle, the growth Pokemon. Grottle leaves the shade of its forest home to soak up sunlight with its shell. It's good at finding clear water, and smaller Pokemon often ride on its back when they're thirsty. Groudon, the continent Pokemon, a legendary Pokemon. Legends say that Groudon is the land personified. When it channels the full power of nature, it can expand the landmass with eruptions of magma. This Pokemon often clashes with Kyogre. Here's Primal Groudon. That's pretty powerful stuff. <clears throat> Grovile, the wood gecko Pokemon. Grovile can travel so swiftly from branch to branch that it looks like it's flying through the forest. The leaves on its body are excellent camouflage. Growlithe, the puppy Pokemon. Growlithe has an excellent nose and a good memory for scent. It can even sniff out people's emotions. That's impressive. Grumpig, the manipulate Pokemon. Come on, focus camera. Focus. Grumpig breaks into a strange dance when, it when using the black pearls to focus its psychic powers. Many collectors consider the pearls to be priceless artwork. Gulpin, the stomach Pokemon. Gulpin's stomach takes up most of its body, so there's not much room for its other organs. The powerful digestive enzymes make short work of anything it swallows. Girder, the muscular Pokemon. With its strong muscles, Girder can wield its steel beam with ease in battle. It's so sturdy that a whole team of wrestlers couldn't knock it down. Dang. Yeah, I can see why. And Gyarados, the atrocious Pokemon. After evolving, come on, focus. Focus camera. There we go. After evolving, Gyarados experience a shift in the cellular structure of its brain. This may explain why it is so violent, sometimes going on a month-long rampage. Jeez, Gyarados. And that is the end of the G section.
Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!